Today's Living Word with Pastor Arlen. We're continuing our study on John 16, the Holy Spirit, our helper. I would suggest you read all of that from the Last Supper. This is all taking place during the Last Supper that Jesus is teaching and study regarding the Holy Spirit, John 14, 15, 16, 17. But now we're going to look at verse 9. The Holy Spirit will convict the world of sin because they do not believe in me. So it's the sin of rejecting Jesus is what we saw last time. So also the next thing, the Holy Spirit convicts us, the world of righteousness, convicts the believer of righteousness because Jesus said, I go to my Father and you see me no more. People look at that as a, the, the Holy Spirit is reproving us of unrighteousness. And that's not what he's doing. The Holy Spirit convicts us of righteousness. What he's doing is showing the believer that they are the righteousness of God in Christ, according to 2 Corinthians 5, 17 to 21. He is showing and convicting us, letting us know that we have been made new creatures in Christ and that we truly are righteous before God in Christ Jesus. So that's not convicting us of unrighteousness. He's convicting us, the believer, of righteousness. And verse 11, of judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. This is not saying that the Holy Spirit tells us when, that we will be judged if we don't repent. And some people look at that and say, oh, I'm going to be judged because I forgot to repent of that sin, or I'm going to be judged because of this sin. No, it's talking about the ruler of the world being um, judged. It's showing us that Satan has been judged. It's not talking about the believer being judged, but Satan being judged. Because remember, Jesus was judged for us. He bore all of our condemnation, all of our sins, all of the judgment for you and me were put on Jesus. So this is showing us that the ruler of this world has been judged. The devil is the one who is judged, not you and me. We're the ones with the authority over the devil. And the Holy Spirit reminds us of that to encourage us, to strengthen us, to get our eyes on Jesus, to realize Satan is judged by Jesus. So this is not saying that the Holy Spirit's convicting us of judgment, because remember, we have already been judged in Jesus. So that gives us joy and strength and it just gives us an opportunity to praise the Lord for what he's done for us.